Hey guys, uh, you're with Maya from Farmer Freak, and I've been welcomed along by Jason Dunlop in the end and Kim here. Hey. Supplements.co.nz, and it's my turn to introduce a product which is Mass Freak. Awesome. You still need to ask the questions though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just making you everything. Just this today. once, just this once. So, uh, Mass Freak only comes in one size, as you can see, this big bag. That's a 15 pound bag of powder. And uh, so, Maya. Why is this called Mass Freak and why would someone want to take this? Yeah, with a name like that, no it's not for being totally small, slim and slender. Okay. It's quite the opposite. So this is for those that are struggling to gain weight. That can or, eat everything. Training. Yes, uh, or in a um, high energy sport where post, the, like an endurance event. Yeah, they need, builders buy it even. That are, you yeah, know. an extraordinary yeah. amount of energy. Um, and so the big difference versus a mass product versus a protein product is typically your protein products are very low in carbohydrate and fat. Mm -hmm. This one is much higher in carbohydrate, although not so heavy in fat. What you don't want to do is get bigger, but it will be fat. So traditionally, you usually get an adequate portion of protein and high carbohydrate and low fat, or maybe you would have a adequate portion of protein and a high fat, very low carb con carbohydrate content. So in this instance, they've gone with the traditional moderate protein. When I say moderate, if you took the full serving direction on the back, we're talking 50 protein and over 200 carbohydrate and a quite a low proportion of, uh, of fat as well. Uh, we are discussing earlier though, I would not recommend, although the back of the panel says four scoops, um, an experience, a shaker, if you put four scoops in, I think it would go to the brim and it'd be like no water, room for water. And digesting it would be challenging. Yeah, and then you don't really feel like eating your meals. So it's yeah, kind so of the purpose. It's very important, listeners, that you don't use this instead of a meal and then you don't eat any meals afterwards because you're so full. And that defeats the whole purpose because the whole purpose is to increase the calories throughout the day more than what you're already taking. Yeah, so you have, a, you have a calorie surplus and therefore a weight gain. And from a quality source, not McDonald's or KFC or anything full of fat because uh, you need quality nutrition for quality gains. And every day as well. I get a lot of guys, yes. my usual is, Monday to Friday they're pretty good and then the weekend they go a bit slack. Yes, so it's yes. being consistent with... And the hard gain is typically a slack because they just don't have much of an appetite and they go yeah. backwards because they just start burning their own body mass up again. So the whole purpose of more carbohydrates are that a regular individual um, who doesn't struggle to get too much weight on or as you get older, uh, hello, um, is you have your adequate portion of protein for me, like if I eyeball something, it's usually about the size of a palm of my hand, and for me a carbohydrate portion the size of my fist is sufficient to get me through two or three hours for my next meal, my next feeding. If you're a hard gainer, um, traditionally that protein portion you had may be sufficient, but they'll very quickly, within half an hour, perhaps burn that carbohydrate portion, portion up. So what are they going to use for fuel? Their muscle. Mm -hmm. And the body doesn't really like to burn fat. And, and, and these guys can particularly be pretty lean anyway. So the body's more inclined to want to burn muscle, which uses fat. So the whole purpose of this is to give you a portion of protein, but to give you several portions of carbohydrate uh, to address that as the fuel source and not your protein and certainly not cannibalizing your own muscle tissue. Uh, so they've addressed that very, very cleverly. Uh, and talking about the four scoops we said, which was a little bit overwhelming, mm -hmm. I mean, we're not going to make a sandcastle of this stuff, you're trying to drink it. So a sensible way to do it would be to take, instead of four scoops, to do two scoops multiple times through the day. And the key time is after workouts. Because you thrashed your body, and it's an awesome time where your body's um, in that window of opportunity to absorb more nutrients and stuff than normal. So a really good time to uh, absorb and, and grow. Um, so if I could pick some times, I'd say after your workout and before bed. Yeah. So if you're ready um, to go to bed and you're going to provide your body with a lot of nutrients and calories to do its business in your sleep when you would normally be what they'd call catabolic or fasting, hence the word breakfast, break the fast in the morning, you've been doing the, op the opposite. You've been uh, growing and providing calories during your sleep, growing your sleep. So Mass Freak is really good for hard gainers. Absolutely. You know what I mean? If you're one of those people, one of those people that just can eat anything and still a stick thin, and you really want to change that, you need to be pushing those calories out every day. 
And Mastery can really assist you with that. And you can stack this with the other from Freak Products, Creatine Freak, you know, some of the other ones that we talked in the other series. Mm, yep. And Excellent. all of these products are available at supplements.co.nz. Cool. And uh, Hope you enjoyed you. our Pharma Freak series. Thank you very much, Maya, for Thanks, coming Maya. in. Thanks, Maya. Welcome. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. Mwah. Yay. Hope and you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thanks. Bye.